everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeannie. Today I'd like to show you a quick gift idea for this holiday. I quickly crocheted this cute cup cozy and bought a, one of these reusable cups and a gift card. So I, just, I think this makes a really, really cute and awesome gift for anyone. If you guys are interested in learning how I crochet this sleeve, then continue watching. For supplies, you'll be needing some yarn. I'm using some stuff I need to get rid of. Um, one of these reusable cups. I also have one of these, um, I don't know what you call it, but cuts a hole in the paper. A puncher. <clears throat> pair of scissors. Um, this is optional, but one of these measuring tapes. Uh, today I'll be using a 4mm hook. Uh, hemp cord and one of these tapestry needles. Okay, let's begin So this is how the sleeve looks like Looks knitted, right? Anyways, the stitch we'll be using today is called a double crochet slip stitch It's pretty easy and I'll show you how to create that Okay, to begin just tie a slip knot to your hook And let's chain 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, and 16. Okay. <clears throat> now, we're going to be making our first double crochet slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. So this one on your hook does not count. So it's 1 and 2. So to make a double crochet slip stitch, you yarn over, put your hook through that stitch, and pull through just like you would a double crochet, half double crochet, and we're going to take that and pull through two. Okay, that's a half double crochet uh, slip stitch. Yarn over, put your hook through that stitch, Pull up and then pull through two. Hopefully, you can see that. Run over, put through the next stitch, and pull up and take that and pull through two. Oops. You're just going to continue with this half double crochet slip stitch down the line. So we will have a total of 15 half double crochet slip stitches, okay? That's basically the whole um, repeating step right there. We're going to be doing these half double crochet slip stitches. Uh, in the next row, we'll do, be doing that in the back loop only. And that will be the repeating row. I apologize. Okay. My last half double crochet slip stitch. And this is how everything should look. Okay. We're going to chain one and turn the work. Okay. This back side looks really cool. It has these little bumps already. Okay, so this will be the repeating row. So we're going to uh, yarn over. And in the back loops only, if you turn it this way, we're going to be making it into the back loops only. Okay, so put it through that back loop and complete your half double crochet slip stitch.
And I forgot to mention that this is just um, medium for worsted weight yarn. And I'm using a four millimeter um, crochet hook. This is how it's looking so far. It's creating that knit like look. Can you see that? It's so pretty, right? Back loop only. I think I'd be excited if I received a gift like this too. I love Starbucks and I love handmade goodies. Okay, that's the end of row two. Chain one and then turn your work. And this will be a repeat of row two. Yarn over. And in the back loop only of each chain down, we're going to be uh, completing those half double crochet slip stitches. I'm going to continue along and complete all of my rows. I'll come back and let you know how many rows I complete, but the total, when you measure um, the length of this, it will be about eight and a half inches long to fit around this uh, cup. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm finishing up here, putting in my last two stitches. Okay, and I'm, now I'm done. So I ended up doing 34 rows of the half double crochet slip stitches. That's two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, and that does measure out to be approximately eight and a half inches. And at this point, you could go ahead and either snip off your yarn and attach, and uh, basically, we'll be um, whip stitching this up with one of these or you could um, use your crochet hook and and um, do the stitches that way instead but this is what I'll do for this video I typically would use my crochet hook but let's just do it this way and I thought about it too you could also add um, you know, another uh, row of uh, single crochet up here, or use one of those faux fur um, yarn just to add a little bit of something, but I'm just going to keep things simple. Sorry, that was my dog. She just sneezed. But yeah, I'll, let's just go ahead and stitch this together. And by the way, um, both sides will look exactly identical, so you could use, you know, either side. So I'm going to stitch it up this way and then I'll probably turn this um, inside out, or out, right side out after. My dog is being extra noisy today. I have a corgi. She's 11 years old. I just find the um, using the needle is probably quicker to stitch this up. Almost done. Okay, I'm going to take the tail from the beginning foundation chain and just, just uh, tie a knot. Okay, and then with this in here, you can go ahead and just weave in 
part of the tail. Such a pretty and girly color, isn't it? I'm just going to hide it up towards this and then just cut it. Okay. Get that, and you can go ahead and get that tail as well. And we are done. So I'm gonna see the the stitching on this isn't so bad. You can look, keep it this way, but I'll just turn it out this way. But it looks exactly the same. Such a pretty stitch, isn't it? Now, I'll go ahead and put it on the cup. And I'll take this hemp uh, cord cable or whatever this is. Just cut out one that's long enough. And let me go grab the um, the gift card real quick. Okay, here's the second gift card that I have. This one says Merry Christmas, very festive. And don't forget to write to and from. But I'll take my puncher. This one's a cute one. It's a heart one. I'll just punch it right here. Wait, let me make sure. Okay. Go ahead and punch it in a corner. See, that's what we'll punch right there. And back to this guy. We'll tie this here. You can use pretty ribbon too. I just grabbed whatever I had. Just going to slip this through. Like so. And then just tie a knot. Or bow, I mean. the final gift. I can just go ahead and cut this off a little bit. It's just too long. Right there. And you can put this in a cute pretty um, gift bag along with other small items. But this makes a perfect gift. Let me grab the other one. Isn't this adorable guys? I really hope you guys like this short and simple um, crochet tutorial. Um, if you guys try it, please tag me on Instagram. And I, I'd love to see your work. Alright, thank you and have a blessed day, guys.